Hey guys, interesting story coming out. And from a sub, for a submariner, it's really interesting. But anyway, there's rumors coming out of um, Taiwan or maybe China. Nobody knows where the rumors are coming from yet. And it's making the news actually. And it's it, I've seen it in five news sources so far um, that China has lost a, a Type 93 class nuclear submarine. And that's actually big news. The funny thing about um, things coming out of communist countries such as Russia or China usually is that they say, yeah, it never happened, it didn't happen, and then you find out either days or weeks or months later or years later that the submarine actually did go down. And in this case here, I'm not quite sure what's going on with this submarine because nobody knows where the rumors started. There's no n news where the rumors started. And all the news agencies are putting that out there but they say social media reports are putting this out there and there's a, a, um, a lot of people that are talking about it now. Um, China is saying, no, it didn't happen, that it's getting mixed up with a 2003 submarine accident or something that happened back in 2003 or whatever, which is very doubtful that somebody would pick up something from 2003 and throw it out there as real news because it just doesn't make any sense. But anyway, they're, they're putting this news out there. I wanted to throw this out there today because it is kind of important with all the stuff that's going on in in the Philippines right now with the water cannons being used on um, Philippine boats that are delivering food to some of the islands that belong to the Philippines, by the way, and China's trying to say that they're their islands. And um, there's a big feud going on between that. And the United States has told China, basically, if you get involved with this, that we have to step in. And some people are saying that the use of water cannons is the use of force, which it kind of is when you think about it. Um, you know, in, in New York, I guess they had a thing a while back and, and several other states and towns and stuff like that where people were squirting water on, on police officers. And um, the police officers were saying that's assault. And I guess some court ruled that it was not. But um, when you're using a water cannon, it's much different. Um, also, I do think that that is kind of assault on a police officer, by the way, when you throw water on a, a police officer, because that was some of the cases they were throwing cups of water on police officers. Uh, the police officers were not allowed to arrest these people in some of these states. I believe it was in New York that that was happening. Um, this is like kind of a, a bigger one of those because we're, they're spraying water cannons on Filipinos and on the Filipino boats and everything. And China's kind of like the big bully. They're kind of like, well... They, they kind of watch what's going on around the world. And they probably saw that and says, hey, if they can do that, well, let's take it to a bigger, on a, on a bigger scale and we'll do it this way. And of course, nobody did anything, you know, and it's kind of sad that, that these things are going on throughout the world because, you know, it makes us look like weak, you know, it makes the Philippines also kind of, kind of, you know, look, look not that strong because the United States isn't stepping in and supporting them on that case. And I, and I think we probably should have. I mean, yeah, should, it, should we step up to the case where it's World War III? No, but I think we should throw a lot of ships out there and say, hey, you're not gonna do this anymore. You know, um, and with this thing going on here, this, there's always something going on in the Taiwan Straits. And I, I'm kind of, you know, I'd almost stick my neck out and say that I believe this is probably true. Um, it might not be, it might just be, just what they said, it might just be a, a rumor or an unsubstantiated rumor or whatever about the submarine. But usually when you're talking about Russia or China, when you hear these things, usually there's a grain of truth to them, you know, and they usually say, no, it's not true. And then later on, you find out that it is um, because they want to be the first one on the site. Uh, they do not want the United States or any other country going down there and and getting anything off that 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 submarine anything that's that they can get um and if it's deep enough we might you know nobody might not be able to get to get to it but if if they're already saying pretty much that in the rumors anyway that it has been sunk you know it's down it's gone um it, i guess it had some sort of accident it didn't say what type of accident in the rumor it's just saying accident so anyway i just wanted to put that out there throw that out there i thought it was kind of interesting um, and for a submariner, it's actually extra interesting because, you know, for us, um, when we hear this stuff, it's, it's also kind of sad because w no matter what country you come from, um, you always feel bad for fellow submariners, no matter which side, which side you're on, because there's a certain camaraderie among su submariners, um, whether friend or foe, 
you know, when a, when a submarine goes down, you, you always have thoughts of those people that went down. And, and of course, even in this situation, we do. I mean, there are people just doing their duties like everyone else. Um, granted, they're not on the right side, but, you know, you, you, you know, they have families just like we do. And, you know, you got to give them that if, if this is, tr in fact, true. But anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. I hope you enjoyed today's show. I just want to throw that news out there. <clears throat> I haven't been doing as many videos as usual because I haven't been feeling that great lately with my sciatica. But um, I'm trying to put out as much content as I can. And I, this is something I, I just felt today that I should probably put out there because it is kind of big news. You know, and it is kind of interesting and um, something that, you know, we should watch, you know, because of the fact that they could get bigger. But anyway, I, I, I tend to believe that it is probably true. We'll find out probably, may, hopefully within the next week or two or months or whatever, and we'll see what happens. God bless, guys. Take care.